in uh, the first day of the first bank, but I should at least um, also offer some presents to someone here who is enjoying this uh, dinner as well as I. Uh, I want to ask if there is somebody who might, for a prize, who might know uh, how or what is the what is the name that is given to the 125th anniversary? What is the name that is given to the 125th anniversary? As for example, you would say Jubilee for 50 years. What is that description for 125? If you don't, don't raise your hand. The prize is right here. Raise your hand, no need to speak together. I'm a professor, I get used to people carrying on as if they know the answer. So if you know the answer, just raise your hand and tell us what it is. And please, no one Googles up anything. Please look right next to you to be sure that nobody is Googling up anything. Is there anyone at all? Yes, the lady, there's a lady right there. Behind. No, there's a lady right there, sitting down and raising her hand. Please just come up and there's a microphone right here. Your Excellency, it's I, I crazy it central. <laughs> I just changed. Yes? <laughs> Crazy Central. Sorry? Crazy Central. Say that again. Crazy Central. Yeah, that is quite correct. Actually, the word is pronounced quashi essential. Quashi essential. That is the word. So please come up. Please come up. You have a there's a, there's a, there's a present right here. And it's dinner for two at the metaphor. The metaphor, by the way, is a very lovely restaurant. Number 78A, Unis Bajorums, B.I.L.A. By the way, this gentleman happens to be my in-law, and it's not by arrangement. I, mean, I must tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm truly. Thank you very much. This uh, is Mr. Ayo Subai, the chairman of the Lagos Inland Revenue Service. Congratulations. So we all know now that the 25th anniversary is called the uh, essential <laughs> anniversary. And uh, the, I think that at the, when, we, when we celebrate these kinds of very special anniversaries, there is a sense in which uh, the reflections must be different from the reflections when we celebrate the 30th, 40th, 50th, etc. But let me congratulate the board, management, and staff, past and present, and first bank, on this marvelous occasion of the 125th anniversary of the bank. Being Nigeria's premier and her largest bank for decades is certainly worthy of celebration. And in the past one week or so, there have been a harvest of praise and commendation at home and abroad. I've been reading a few of the tributes to First Bank, and these days I have a bit of time on my hands after uh, campaigning all over the place and waiting now for the inauguration. I've been reading a few tributes. But perhaps one of the most intriguing for me was one written by my dear Egon, uh, Mr. J.K. Randall, where he opened by saying, and I quote, that the combination of one plus two and five, making eight, has significant implications amongst magicians, amongst tarot card readers, amongst fortune tellers, snake charmers, and Pentecostal preachers of prosperity, <laughs> who insist that it is supercharged with spiritual dimensions. Regardless, he goes on to say, we must abandon metaphysics and concentrate instead on heartily congratulating our nation's oldest life on its 125th anniversary. End of 
but I, I disagree with him slightly. Any entity that attains the age of 125 cannot complain if people take a spiritual approach to explaining the phenomenon. How many anything last 100 years, let alone 125 years? So let me add mine to it. For me, there are at least three takeaways from the first bank odyssey. The first is the place of grace, which we describe as unmerited favor in the life of any human or institution. That factor cannot be explained by administrative acumen or just financial prudence or good business practices alone. It's important because so many old banks, well established, well run, all over the world have failed, even in old age. And many here will remember Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, Barry Brothers in the UK, etc. And the number that have collapsed in here, in living memory. And the collapse of some of them is purely, is not uh, necessarily due to just mismanagement. In any event, who is to say which error of judgment can become so fatal? So there is something to be said about grace, about providence, about the hand of God. And I believe that there is reason for first bank to thank God for the hand of God in their story. The second is that, is that the status of being an icon comes with responsibility. You have nothing more to prove except that good values can be allowed to thrive and should endure. As President Buhari said in his congratulatory message to the first bank at the weekend, purposefulness, prudence, and propriety have come to define this bank, this institution. For an iconic institution, every new day is legacy and history being made. The third and final point is a little presumptuous, and it is in the form of counsel. How does a 62-year-old man advise a 125-year-old? My counsel is that Age is not a barrier to innovation and vision. Indeed, to uh, take again from the scriptures, and you have been warned by His Royal Highness that I would resort to scripture. We are told that at the age of 90, Abraham got a fresh mandate from God. Regularly renewing your own mandate and reworking your vision will surely help to keep you ahead of the young uh, Turks who continually challenge your premier status. We're extremely proud of the First Bank because your success all these years reinforced our belief in ourselves as a people and as a nation. And not only are we capable of building great institutions, we can nurture them for centuries. So I'll end with a birthday prayer. As your days, so shall your strength, so shall your success, and so shall your favor with God, in Jesus' name. And everyone who says amen will live long. Amen. Oh, did I get you there? So happy quasi sensual anniversary. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, sir, could we please ask you, to remain for the cutting of our... Uh